Now, your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. And hello, I'm Cynthia Newsom with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. The Kansas City budget shows a 4.5% cut to the Kansas City Police Department. The announcement came today as the city is battling financial struggles. The ongoing pandemic caused the budget strain. Every department in Kansas City also received a 4.5% cut. Well, a step toward police reform today at the White House, President Trump signed an executive order setting aside federal money for police departments. It will be used for better training on de-escalation tactics and use of force. The order also called for chokeholds to be banned. The president said police departments are looking into less lethal weapons to cut down on deadly interactions. Today's executive order also calls for a database to track police officers with disciplinary issues to prevent them from moving to police departments in other cities. Well, the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum today officially reopened. Because of the pandemic, the museum reduced its hours, is requiring guests to get tickets for specific time slots, and will keep certain exhibits closed. The American Jazz Museum, which is in the same building, also reopened today. Interactive exhibits will still be open, but extra protective measures are still in place. Face masks are required for staff and encouraged for visitors. Your forecast is next. Thank you, Cynthia. Here is our forecast. Thunderstorms will be around Kansas City over the next five to seven days, especially beginning Friday, and we'll have one to four inches of rain possible. So if you need rain on your yard, very good chances between now and a week from now. Seven day forecast shows the better chances coming in Friday and Saturday and maybe early next week as well. Remember, get your news and weather anytime at KSHP.com.